Ursula, so I'm just going to read about her to you. Her feast day is October 21st. According to a legend that appeared in the 10th century, Ursula was the daughter of a Christian king in Britain and was granted a three-year postponement of a marriage she did not wish to a pagan prince. With ten ladies-in-waiting, each attended by a thousand maidens, she embarked on a voyage across the North Sea, sailed up the Rhine and Basel, Switzerland, and then went to Rome. On their way back, they were all massacred by pagan Huns at Cologne in about 451 when Ursula refused to marry their chief. According to another legend, Amorica was settled by British colonizers and soldiers after Emperor Magnus Clemens Maximus conquered Britain and Gaul in 383. The ruler of the settlers, Sion Mariadog, called on King Dionysus of Cornwall for wives for the settlers, where Dionysus sent his daughter Ursula, who was to marry Sinon, with 11,000 maidens and 60,000 common women. Their fleet was shipwrecked and all the women were enslaved or murdered. The legends are pious fictions, but what is true is that one Clematius, a senator, rebuilt a basilica in Cologne that had originally been built, probably at the beginning of the 4th century, to honor a group of virgins who had been martyred at Cologne. They were evidently venerated enough to have had a church built in their honor, but who they were and how many of them there were are unknown. From these meager facts, the legend of Ursula grew and developed. Her feast day is October 21st. So, basically, Ursula was to marry a pagan prince. Pagan means that this prince was not Christian, that he did not believe in God. A pagan is someone who believes in many different gods, and we know that there is only one God. And so instead... She embarked on a voyage across the North Sea, and she and all of her ladies-in-waiting, so apparently a lot of people went with her, and they all were either massacred, so they were all either killed, or they were enslaved, meaning they were made to be slaves to these pagans. So apparently this is all just legend, meaning it's not really true. But apparently Ursula was enough of a Christian that she got, she had a church um, venerated for her and um, she believed in God enough to know that she was, God would not have wished her to marry a pagan prince. So now she is a saint.